We're going to go into some fun wedding favorites, and to start us off, I'd like to introduce our music director, Chris Stevens. Thank you, Terry. Congratulations to everyone. One of the first ones that get to do that. Now, by a show of hands, how many people have picked out their first dance? Okay, that's okay. The only reason you would have to be worried about your first dance is if your wedding was like on Friday. You know, then you'd have to get a little worried about that. Then maybe make a decision. But until then, we're okay. Thank you, Joe. Okay, so we kind of talked about it a little bit. We bring in the drama party, everybody is looking. Now, when do you want to do your first dance with your fiance? At that time, be your husband or wife. But when do you want to do your first dance with your significant other? Do you want to do it immediately? Terry just did the introductions. Or do you want to do it after dinner? Those are things to think about. Most people like to do it right away. Because everybody's looking on the dance floor, the spotlight is on you, we've got the paparazzi around the room with the cameras ready, the iPhones. That might be the time to do it. Sometimes people like to do their first dance after. I sat down with brides and grooms and they said no. I want to eat first, then I want to do my first dance. So it's just little decisions to think about. Again, if your wedding is not right now, this week, you don't have to worry about those things, but you'll notice on our info sheets, it'll say before dinner or after dinner. How about the bra party? Are you going to have them join in with you? Are you going to do a separate dance all together? Or are you not going to do a bra party dance at all? That's very common to do. All these different scenarios, just things to think about. Sometimes the bra party is like uneven. You've got too many guys on one side and not enough girls and things like that, so people will not do a bra party game. So these are things to think about. And uh, sometimes we have brides and grooms say, well, I like to have married couples on the dance floor or all couples on the dance floor because the bra party doesn't know each other that well. Again, different scenarios, we can handle whatever you throw at us. How many people have been to our website and checked out our database? I show our hands. Anybody? DJsAvailable.com. You can click on songs. You can put together a playlist. It's very easy, simple to work with. DJsAvailable.com. Put together the playlist. You can separate your music into play, must play, play if possible, and do not play. And then send it over to us. So we help you a little bit with our database. How many songs are in there? 55,000 songs. So you can, if you picked every one of those songs, you'd be here till next Friday. DatabaseDJsAvailable.com. We are very available to answer your questions in the office too. I myself work for the company full time. You can call up. You can, I'm the music director. You can ask for me. We can help you pick out songs for your wedding if you have any questions. We'll do a consultation with you about three weeks. So a month before your wedding, I was just talking to brides and grooms. We'll meet with them about three weeks before their wedding and go over all the things that you're looking to do through your wedding reception. So I know sometimes it might get a little stressful. Who am I going to sit Aunt Mary with? You know, things like that. And you know, say to your groom to be, well, what color do you think I should get for the flowers to match with the bouquet and the centerpieces? And us guys, we have no clue. So just ladies, just be easy for us. Those are kind of questions that we're not really sure of, so it's probably better that you make those decisions. I hate to say that, but that's the truth. That's the way it was with me. We got married in 1999. The song we picked out, Jersey Girl, Bruce Springsteen, because we both met each other down at the shore, and it kind of worked out. So your first dance, your song, it'll all come together, I promise you. Then one day, you'll get married, about four or five years into your marriage, you'll have kids, you'll be running around the house, and then you'll see what chaos is. So you need to have chaos in your house now, then you'll see what chaos is, I promise. That's it for me. My name is Chris. We'll be glad to talk to you at the end of the evening.